Nigeria. It was so predictable. So, um, Chidema, they should not want um, they just conclu concluded um, Miss Universe. I'm sure you guys remember Chidema Adeshino that was bullied and um, in South Africa because she's a Nigerian and um, my mom is a Mozambican or whatever. And then she had to withdraw from the competition. And then the bullying was too much that she's a Nigerian. They don't want a Nigerian. You know, it caused a lot of um, you know, um, conflict, fights between Nigeria and then South Africa. So she had to withdraw because of the identity stolen of something, identity theft rather. So she left, she withdrew from the competition. And, um, you know, the organizers of Miss Universe in Nigeria invited her to come and participate in the competition. So she came to Nigeria and then um, she was, um, you know, she enrolled for Miss it Universe and then she was giving Miss Nigeria Taraba. 2024 is so there was no the other than finale Miss of the competition. Taraba. And then, no and behold, they crowned her the Miss Universe. Congratulations to Chidema. I am happy for her. But then again, I feel like it doesn't, it doesn't make any sense, sincerely speaking. I knew it, I knew they were going to give it to her, but why? The other girls, they started from the, from, from the start, they started from afresh. The screaming and everything and all that, and then Chidema came from me. I don't have anything against Chidema, I feel like these organizers, what are they doing? Are they doing it for clout? Or are they, are they doing it just to spite South Africans? It doesn't make any sense. I feel like they shouldn't have even invited her in the first place. So said it's because she didn't start from the from the from the screen, the you know, the audition and whatever they do. She didn't, she and just goes for nowhere else. And, and she won. Just like that. Office. I wouldn't call should I call that Grace? And for me, I feel like it doesn't she doesn't merit this thing. I feel like they just to me it's more like they, they are using that to spite South Africans. What about the other girls that worked out for this? It doesn't make any sense. Anyway, congratulations to Chidema. She won. I wonder how South Africans, maybe they're using this to spite South Africans. We have better things to worry about. So anyway, all the best to them. What is up and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we will be talking about how netizens have been reacting to Chidema winning the Miss Universe crown and yeah there has been sort of mixed reactions from people but we will be going into that in details very soon but before we do that please make sure to like comment and subscribe and tell me what you think do you think she deserved it tell me in the comment section i understand that you know we want to welcome her we want to celebrate we're happy that when she's, she's a think part like of her no, no, why not? So i mean she's I, I, she has she's not been to nigeria in 20 years that's if she has ever does been she to know what state is she doesn't even know the state she's representing does she know Tarab that is Tarab what state i do not like it's a just a, win in no. peace i, no. I don't no. think it's about winning, winning peace, in peace but no i think that nigerians get emotional over everything Sometimes things happen to people that might be negative, but that does not mean that, you know, because she now decided to come to Nigeria and participate and conveniently she won. Life is not a fairy tale. So in terms of like the uh -huh. stages of these competitions, she came in when they were already at certain stages. Yes. So I'm even wondering to myself, was there one? somebody not representing Taraba before if there wasn't that's a different thing but if there was so you remove somebody from who was representing Taraba to put her in that place mm -hmm. she's never been to Taraba and if I, I'm not she I, 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 I'm not done hold on, hold on. I'm actually surprised that blessings and Lolo are on this side and you're the one who's talking about can a girl win in yeah, peace because it feels like Nigerians love this idea of around uh, it's grace it's, it's unmerited PT. favor yeah. Yeah. No. no she could have come you could have acknowledged her but I don't think she was supposed to come participate and then win exactly. you're doing a disservice to the name and the brand of the pageant so i would I have love... expected that even if she came we could acknowledge her yes i don't even think she should be allowed to participate i, I feel that this is i think it has just been written in stars for her for a long time yeah i mean i i take the unpopular un, un, un stance here uh, but i think it, it is something that she has been groomed into she has this with uh, for me this has been a long time coming for her the fact that number one maybe like you say is leaning into the game between south africa and nigeria Obviously. with the yeah with this i don't think that can ever go away but nigerians are now stepping up or nigeria is stepping up and saying let's bring her home let's celebrate her 
Probably there wasn't a, a Miss Taraba standing in the Even if there was. Or, and then yeah. let her win. Those are two different yeah, so things. It's, no, it's not probably her win. No I mean, doubt. exactly. No, we're lie. watching it. Lolo said, Lolo said, oh, she's beautiful. Anna was carried away. She's beautiful. She's eloquent. She... Mm. It's not a matter of being, I don't think, for me. Yeah, but there are criteria. So, so are I, there so, not? Yeah, so because I, if there are criteria, that means there are rules to follow. Mm -hmm. There are ways to follow. If somebody needs to be, if protocol needs to be broken okay. for someone, then there should be a caveat. Who do you think this does to all the other girls in the party? I'm telling you. It's, it's, it's quite honestly, demoralizing. It's way too obvious. Now, I understand, I understand the need to bring her home and celebrate her, but... It is not a pity party, right? Uh, we, we, we get that, okay, fine. Let's even say she's allowed to participate. That's enough celebration. It is quite shocking that so-called Nigerian celebrities would sit down on national TV and spew rubbish, saying things about what they know little or nothing about. Now, for the Miss Universe Nigeria pageant, there should be 36 candidates. However, there were 24 this year, and that is to show that not all the states were represented and for the auditioning people have to make an open audition on instagram showing their campaign and why they want to compete for the miss universe i think this is the only reason why this is the only thing chidema did not do and she came to nigeria before the pageant started before the camp started and i'm going to attach an image that you see on the screen right now i mean the internet is people's friend and people need to use it they honestly need to use it it's obvious that all our nigerian celebrities know little or nothing about this pageant so there was obviously no miss taraba before chidema came and they just gave her that state and let me be honest with you all all of these ladies are not representing the state they are originally from. So it means that probably they have never been in that state they are representing. Miss Rivers could probably have never been in River State before. I am not sure. But yeah, a lot of the ladies are probably from America or Canada. And, you know, let's just watch this clip and see. I am Nigerian Canadian. The Canadians would never discriminate against me if I wanted to compete for Miss Universe Canada. So Miss Plateau had to fly in from Canada for this pageant and probably has never been in Plateau State before. So that is it with most of these ladies. So somebody saying that she doesn't qualify is wrong and not right at all. This lady deserves peace and joy. You can see how happy she is to be here and how welcoming she must have felt. I mean, she has been through a lot for a 23-year-old. Miss Chidima Adeshino don't finally win Miss Universe Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Say for you. She don't finally win her. They don't finally crown her. Of course, I knew it will happen. The day she joined that program, I knew they would give her the crown. Yes. Somebody will tell me, hey, she deserve it. Deserve what? You don't see Miss Rivers. Is she a joke to you? You don't see that girl performance? Of course, I know. To prove South Africans wrong, we are ready to do anything. Yes, even at the detriment of others, we don't care. Just to prove South Africa wrong. Can you imagine? Does she deserve it? Let us tell ourselves the truth. She merited it. She merited it. You want proof to South Africa and say, vote, no, they count for Nigeria. Of course, no, they count. Wait till they count. The moment they invited her to that program, I knew they would give her the crown. Yes. What did she do for dear? What did she do for dear? Maybe you tell her, what did she do? Mm, she don't win her hair, so what did happen? Make other people, they, they cry, they go out, now, be? And I don't achieve on her papers. Ask yourself whether she deserved that crown. If your answer is yes, let it be bet between you and your conscience. Nonsense. So we all know that Miss Rivers is a girl's girl. She is a queen's queen. And she's you know, very happy, energetic and all. But um, if you watched that show, you would know that a bit of things were not that good for her. First of all, the hair didn't really do it for me. And her final question, I think her nerves got the best of her. And if you watch other people's review as well, they would have the same thing to say. So should she be in the top three? I think so. 
I think she should have made it to the top three, but unfortunately she did not. And some people say it's because she has called out the organizers of the show before, which were also the ones running the MBGN before. MBGN was the one that used to send candidates for Miss World. Anyway, Chidema won this one and let her be. Let her be in peace, please. <laughs> Is it that somebody doesn't win, she won? Yes, yeah, she has faced through a lot and God has decided to bless her with this. Honestly, you probably ne never faced bullying before, so you may not know what she has gone through. But for somebody to be bullied by a whole country, it's a lot. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video up till now. And um, I'll see you in my next video. So until next time, bye.